Ladies and gentlemen, this man pull up from man pull corner. Renew your mindset. Unfortunately, I've come with a very sad news today. Very, very sad news. Pathetic. One of our pastor in um, America, is it Orlando or something? Uh, actually, originally from Ghana with a wife. The pastor just shot the wife dead in America. Which is a very sad news. I'm going to play some of their videos here to see all how it started. Then we talk about we talk about this video. We analyze it. Watch the video. Have you seen that first video? That was when they were doing their wedding. You know when everything was very sweet. When everything was very rosy. You see, that is a phase of marriage. I'm going to play another video now. Watch. You are in November. You passed over in October. You made it out. Now you are in December. Can I speak to somebody? Look at somebody and say, I cannot die. Say, I cannot die. Say, I will live. Have you seen this one now? This is when the marriage have continued, the process of the marriage. At this point now, nobody knows what you are passing through. You will be doing cover-up. What is happening in your house, we don't know. Despite you are a pastor with charisma in the church. This is a pastor. Allah is a prophet as well. That professes and see everything that happened in the whole world, you know. I was watching one of his prophets when he was even prophesying to one one lady about about her marriage that is going to find a divorce the husband is going to leave him i saw the prophecy i won't be able to play all the videos i don't like my videos very long i want my viewers to enjoy my video shots you see so you can see everything as a pastor you know you can see how charisma how charismatic he, he is in that church or he was in that church you know the wife was at the back there supporting her supporting him but you don't know what that woman was passing through in life, don't use people as your standard because you don't know what they pass through back home. He who wear the shoes know we are in pictures. Let me play another video. Watch. No! 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 It's not okay, Barbara! It's not okay! You cannot defend him! It's not okay! Do you see what he just did? No, 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 I'm tired of you. No, I'm tired of you. No, absolutely not. You, you, I know that I understand. I get it. I told you here and I told you sit back. I told you we are not here to argue with you. Why did you fucking attack her? Why did you attack her? Can you come down? No, because you started this. You're gonna go to the other room and you're not gonna come out. Barbara, what about that fuck one? You up. I'm telling you. Barbara, that folder. Get... That's the divorce document. Get up and go to your fucking room. No. I don't know what the fuck is wrong Barbara, with you. Barbara, move. Keep acting up and fuck you up. No, no, try me. All right. Try me. Okay. Try me. All right. Try me. Hey. No, no, it's all right. Why? It was unnecessary. Don't, don't, give me the chance to don't do that, Barbara. If what if you keep you by yourself? What did I fuck up about my sister? Carrie, what did I tell you? Let him go in the room. Carrie, leave him alone. Carrie, leave him alone. You should go. You don't need to. All right. You are the same person who supported me at the wedding, right? I'm I will fight you at the wedding you because you are fake. You are fake. Yes, you are a liar. Uh -uh. Uh -uh, Perry. You are fake. You and everybody that follows you. You are fake. I yes, support you because I told you are different. So now you I are here. I don't like your family. Support your sister. Yes, I'm here to support your sister. Your sister. And I'll always Who support you. The told you that she was a witch. Which pastor? I'm I'm right? pastor. Name that pastor. Which pastor told me my sister? Your same sister. Which pastor? Name the pastor. Did you? You, you are a pastor. 
You, oh. you don't know whether you are from Fanatio or a pastor, my friend. The father is a bad fuck you are. We didn't come here for you. We did not come here for you. Don't let me, don't let me hurt you. Leave. We didn't come here for you. We came to get some. Can I promise you something? Promise me. If I don't kill your sister, then me, I am sick. You got the video, right? Yeah, I got right, it. I call the cops. No, it's not. No, call the cops. Then, no. Baba, stop that. Fanya. You don't play with threats like this. Jen, I'm calling the cops. No, 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 you don't play with threats. Please call the cops. It should escalate. He's threatening you in front of me. He said he's going to kill you. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? All right, just make sure it's there so we can go. If that's it, let's go. Let's just get the hell out of here. Is it it? Yeah. Okay. Make sure it's... Let's get out of here. We ain't coming here no more, Bobby. You, you, you lost all... You heard what he said? Is there anything else you need to get? Yeah, we're done. Whatever you want to get. Yeah, we're done. Oh, you lost all this. No, I'm going to come back for it. You're going to come back for what? No, it's okay. It's okay, Barbara. It's another debt that can be paid off. Debt is debt. You cannot replace debt with life. And vice versa. It's gone. This is all. This ain't yours no more. Imagine if you come here by yourself. Even with us over here, he still attacked you. Fabia, don't play with these things. Why is this a joke? You, you may not want to have him arrested, but you have to I make a police this. report. You have to have a police report for future sake. The police need to make a report. No, I'm going to use this so you can get a restraining order. Yeah. You, and make sure he's not coming in. Can you come look for my glasses, Fabia? Look for my glasses right here. Make sure he's not coming in. If it fell over there when he's coming. Watch your car. Make sure he's not coming in. Oh, I'll fuck him up. Don't go outside. Just look. Uh, at this stage, this is when the marriage is becoming rugged. You watch that video now, yeah? At this stage now, it is outside their personal control. Externalities are coming. Third parties are coming. You see the brother of the, of the wife, you know, trying to fight the husband there. You no, know, it's now getting outrageous. It's now getting out of control. See? You can't pretend. Listen. Any marriage that doesn't suit you, be you, be you the man, be you the woman. You don't even need to wait for third party to leave that marriage. Leave the marriage before you die. I made a statement on Facebook, and uh, and uh, one of one of my sister don't understand what I said. I said, "Your marriage is your responsibilities. Listen less to third parties because you know where it pinches. You have the marriage." But she doesn't understand what I was trying to say. But I explained to her anyway. What I meant there. Your marriage decision, you made it. Nobody made it for you. Your father will not make that decision That decision for you. Your mother will not make it. Your sister will not make that decision for you. Your brothers will not make that decision. It is you that will make that decision. When it is sweet, you are the one that will make the decision to stay more in that marriage. If it is very bitter, it is you that will make that decision to leave. What I, I was trying to explain to her at that point is that you don't even need to wait for third party to come and rescue you before you leave. That's what I say. Listen less to less party. You are wearing the shoe. You know where the pinch is. If you know that this relationship will kill you, leave it. Run away. If you know that this relationship you are, this, this uh, marriage you are, is what will kill you shortly. Especially you are beginning to see punches. You are beginning to see knife coming out. You are beginning to see threat to life coming out. My brother, leave. I'm not going to say the brother have tried enough. The sister there or the friend have tried enough trying to help her. I can even see her trying to protect the husband there. Even at that point, you see, love is very blind. You know, sometimes that love could be stupid. You see, I can't say the brother have not tried because the brother was saying, call the police, call the police. She was even saying, don't call, don't worry, leave it first. You know, such things. When somebody have threatened you on video, say, if I don't kill your sister, know that I'm fake. So, and he came, you people allow him to come back to execute his plan. You allow him to, okay, before I will continue, let's watch another video again, where it all ended. In a press conference earlier today, police are calling the shooting a calculated crime. News 6's Mark Lehman has an update on the investigation. 
During an update with the Orlando police, investigators say they were able to arrest the suspect in yesterday's shooting without any further violence, as that man now faces first-degree murder charges in the killing of his wife. We're learning more about his background and a previous run-in with officers. Um, her family was understandably very shaken and uh, distraught. Detectives say it was a calculated crime that happened quickly outside the Navy Federal Credit Union on Tuesday. As Barbara Tomey was arriving for work in the morning, Orlando police say her estranged husband, Sylvester Ofori, fatally shot her several times. They were going through a divorce and they were estranged for approximately three months. Investigators wouldn't elaborate about any warning signs that might have led up to the violence, but court records show a fight between the couple in 2016, something that resulted in resisting arrest charges for Ofori that were later dropped. That was his only arrest in Orange County until yesterday. Someone committed a heinous act of violence towards a loved one, um, and there's unfortunately no excuse for that. Police also say they learned Ofori is a pastor at Floodgates of Heaven Ministries in Orlando. But he did have uh, a pretty big online following, yes. He speaks to his followers and uh, called himself a prophet and his followers called him a prophet. The church sitting empty today. Meanwhile, Ofori is being held without bond on a charge of first degree murder with a firearm. Tragic events happen all the time with people that are looked up to and uh, idolized and you know, it's unfortunate, it's tragic, and this is what we're dealing with now. In Orlando, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6. You see the video? A man of God. See, I'm, that is why sometimes, when we they talk some things, some things are wrong fundamentally. You go to say, we they attack any church or we they attack any man of God. No, we don't. If somebody, if somebody from his church had advised this man, had advised him the way you are going, is not right. What you are doing is not good. Do you look at the implication and implication of what you are doing? This is what is going to cost you. Do you think that this man will, may, may even go as far as this? If people we are speaking up, apart from this this one we see on video now, will be from the immediate family that he the, the man is even seen as an attacker already. He's seen he have declared war against them already. If other externalities who are neutral to this marriage had advised this man, especially from their members. So, Pastor, this thing you are doing is not going to help the church. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help your wife. You know, it might be that you wouldn't have gotten up to this extent. But you see that mentality? We can't speak to them because they are pastor. You can't speak to them because nobody talks to them. They are geos. You see? You need to see if you see somebody, geo is a human being, pastor is a human being, prophet is a human being. They can make mistakes. And I don't judge any of them making mistakes. Do you understand that? I don't judge any of them making mistakes. But when you make when they make that mistake, you that is their minister, you that is their, their, their leaders, help them. You are there to help them. See, I'm, a pastor is there standing as a pillar. You know, a pillar without support is the pillar that will fall in time. But any pillar with support, yeah, they don't fall in time. Because they have support. You are the support of your pastor. Not only financial support you are there to give your pastor. No, you are there to give your pastor some advice. Because he's a human being, he might not get it right all the time. That's why he made you a leader. So that when he's going wrong, you can call him to order as well. To help him. Not necessarily in public. Call him in private. It is only when you call him in private and he's not listening to you. Uh, you can go away and go tell the public why you leave. That your hand is not there anymore. Do you understand that? So if somebody had advised him and tried to, you know, monitor him and, you know, he might not, he maybe that he didn't shoot, shoot the woman. You won't be this pastor, I want to talk to you. Because in a jail you go rot. I don't support domestic violence of any type. You see a woman, you know that you can easily beat this woman with hand. Why are you flaying your muscle there? What is the point? I don't know what happened between two of you and all that. But what I realized that is very common with most of our Africans. I know that Cameroonian has done this. Nigerian has done this in, in, in that America. Now Ghana have done it. You know, what is wrong with you people? You will take a woman to altar saying you love them. You love them. And after marriage, and marriage begins to shake, the next thing, because of argument and because of a dispute, you will take gun and shoot your wife. I know, I know you understand this. I even learned that after shooting this lady, several gunshots, and she was already dead. You went where she was. You stepped on her, and you were, shoot, you were shooting more. 
and you say God called you, uh -huh, that call brings me to people that say, thou shalt not judge. And you forget, say, the Bible says, by their fruit, we shall know them. That alone is a judgment. If Bible tell you that by the fruit anybody is exhibiting, you will know who he is. That is a judgment on its own, if you don't know. So, now, now, thou shalt not judge. Look at your colleague. I'll say we shouldn't judge. If somebody has judged him and make him right, correct him, rebuke him strongly, bring him to police, police attention, this will not happen. But you people will say, let's cover them. Let's cover Christianity. Let's cover, uh, let's cover loyal, it's loyal, let's be loyal to our, our head. You people are not normal. If that is not loyalty, it is called stupidity. I say it every time. Because in the end, that your pastor is still going to put you to shame. Because you see something right to talk and correct, you shut up. Because he's a, he's a pastor. You want to cover the head. You want to cover Christianity. You can't cover Christianity. Christianity is not a secret court that you do secret things. And the Bible is our standard. When something is going wrong, we need to caution that. In respect, I just talk this in every time. When something is wrong, it is wrong, irrespective of who is doing the wrong. That somebody who is on that somebody who is on higher authority is doing wrong doesn't make wrong right. I will repeat it. That somebody who is higher authority over you is doing wrong does not make that wrong right. We can't talk to you people. When we want to talk, you become disobedient. When we want to talk, you become disloyalty. When we want to talk, you become rascal. When you want to come, you become bastard. It's not bastard. Loyalty is out of supporting your head. Supporting. But not supporting your head in the wrong manner. It's supporting your head in the right manner. Loyalty is when you see your head doing wrong, you call him to order. This will put us in problem. That's when you are loyal. Loyalty is when you see something, you are talking about your head outside. And it's wrong. And you, you weigh it and see your, your head is like it's making a mistake. You come close to him. Look at what they are saying outside. Though. I think we need to change this. That's loyalty. Loyalty is not that I see my, my pastor ha having sex with somebody's wife. And I begin to clap. That's not loyalty. Or I see my pastor stealing somebody's property. Then I begin to cover it. I begin to clap. Because I'm loyal to, to it. That's not loyalty. So come back to these people. My brothers. When they for America, I know even they know what is wrong with this America. This gun gun, why would they shoot anyhow? Anyhow, what even a problem? And why they even this gun gun? Then you no know, get regulation. Why that gun no get regulation in that country? If you must have gun, because in America I don't have I don't owe you any apology to say this. In America, somebody who is mentally derailed has gun. Somebody who don't know the meaning of gun has gone. 